wash away the pain There's a new day to take away your sorrow And the old ways get washed out by the rain Pie Town is that way. But well, we went to Pie Town last time. Well, this road goes to Pie Town. That's a dirt road. I'm not taking the dirt road. No. You know what? You need to get my other GoPro out and face it this direction. <sighs> just, I'll get it. It's right here. I, I wouldn't want to put you out here. Oh my god, just stop. Oh yeah. See, I got it We're on. going. Okay. What are we leaving? Malapai. Malapais? Yeah. Malapas. Maybe we could stay on the road, it'd be great. Where? On our side. <laughs> we stayed an extra that's day. That's what we should call our trailer. Wicked Windy. Wicked Windy. Well, that's what we end up getting every time we go anywhere. Wicked Windy. We are on a back road, my goodness. We are, what are we on? The I don't know, we're on the... 89? No. Yeah, 117 like through that. New Mexico into Arizona. Yes. We were on the I-40, destroyed, and the truck drivers are just insane. There were insane. hundreds of them. <laughs> it was terrifying. Oh, and the BMW club. The yeah, BMW that club was, I all know, lined 100 up. BMWs lined <laughs> up. It was the, the freeway. I mean, you're going 75, and a truck will drive up your bumper. It's insanity. I, I don't understand. I don't get it, but the truckers need a road of their own. They do. Anyway, this could be the last day of our trip. We'll see. We Maybe. might go stay in Cholo one night. Yeah. <clears throat> Depends on how tired she gets from riding so long. I mean, it's a long ride. I get it. It's just a lot of work over here. I will say this has been uh, <clears throat> an interesting month. We almost this would this is our 28th day. Is no. it really? Today is our 26th day. 26th day. Tomorrow's 27. Tuesday's 28. Okay. <clears throat> so originally I wanted to go for 40. I don't think I, we could have. It depends on where we went. But we could have learned that um, working from the road is extremely difficult. Yeah, not not at all what you would expect. No, because we the, we had what four or five days that we were off. Those were the best days by far the whole time. True. Because we got to go do stuff, see stuff. On the other hand, our dogs, we love to death, love, love our dogs. But if, if we didn't have the dogs, we could have done a lot more because so many parks don't let the dogs in. Well, and to go into town and to take the dogs, so many places don't allow yeah. dogs, so you can't really do that. And um, we didn't want to leave them in the trailers. No, um, the they're too big and the, and the trailer's too small. If the trailer was bigger and they had a little more space, or if they were smaller, I think it would be a completely different scenario. We met quite a few people that had small, and but they would leave the dogs in the trailer and go into town yeah. and then come back. Which, Those are the lifers on the road and, though. I and I think that's okay yeah. because they're they're tiny and there's lots of room for them. But when you've got two 60 pound dogs, it's just too much for them. 
What was your favorite part of the trip? Um, I would have to say Mount Rushmore. Really? I thought it was it was it's it's a life experience to be able to see that. Yeah. I mean, looking at it on TV and the shows that you see is one thing, but to see it in person like with the yeah. with the, I didn't even realize that the flags, all the flags of the states lined the walkway to get up to Mount Rushmore. Like remember yeah. we were up in Taos up in the mountains. It's gorgeous because the leaves are changing. In Taos, no, Santa Fe. Santa Fe, yeah, Santa Fe. And she was saying that you can't get a picture of it. No, I mean, I tried to take lots of pictures of what the view we were looking at. There are a couple of the pictures. But you look at it on the the phone, and it's just, it's not the same. The the vivid yellows and reds and the green, just amazing. I'm going to say something. On this road we're on, the speed limit's 45 miles an hour, but the curves say... (laughs) 50. So are we supposed to actually speed up for the for curves? For the curves, yeah, speed up for the curves. Let's punch it. Okay, what was your favorite part of the trip? One of them had to be the dogs playing in the field when they got the, we got in South Dakota, I think we pulled over. Was it in South Dakota? It was in South Dakota, okay. and it was just to open the long grass and to watch the time, especially Ida's face, such a smile on her face to, she run, loves to run, run and run and run, and that was awesome. I liked, I loved seeing Devil's Tower. I thought Devil's Tower was very cool. Oh, and our spot at Devil's Tower the was The spot amazing. there was amazing. So, so yeah. pretty. Right out the front window of the Soul, which yes. is kind of what you buy the Soul for. One of them is that huge front. Gun being cooped up in a little area. What are you, wow, well, now she's getting that. Yeah. Hey, look at the hair, hair. flying everywhere. Hair's flying <laughs> everywhere. Service. Uh, I think that we call that a safe landing. All the stuff we just didn't use. Bug spray, obviously. Didn't use this huge blanket. Pretty much all this stuff we didn't use, right? <sighs> Did not really use this pillow laundry soap we did use had to buy it on the road of course so we didn't think enough to bring that let's see did not use any of this workout stuff i used that a little bit just for doing push-ups did not use my additional solar panel did not use the gas cam because we didn't even use the generator one time not once we did not boondock did not use the outdoor propane grill or fire pit which very disappointing I so wanted to use that okay did not use the we didn't use the table one time either We did at Lake Powell, and we did not take it out once. I wanted to, you wouldn't let me. We had a huge picnic table right there, because we stayed at a campground. Do you want this box to stay in here? Yeah, yeah, because that's... Use one <laughs> lawn chair. Use my easel once, twice maybe. Didn't need the pop-up after Lake Powell. Brought too much stuff for... RV park living. Not doing that again. Boondocking all this stuff was probably necessary. Oh well. Holy God. We got back yesterday and um, we were exhausted. We drove for eight hours and nine hours with the stops and uh, we drove up and we took our dogs inside. Go on. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Are you so? Lois, where are you? Where are you? What are you doing? Where are you at? Come here! Come here! Let me have the harness. Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here. I don't know. Whoa, hi. Come here. Come here. 
You are officially oh. home. Open the, the door. You are officially home. <laughs> and went pretty much, oh, well, we ate dinner, went to bed. We were done. So one of the things that uh, we did find a lot of um, things that we probably wouldn't take again. Um, we planned on doing a lot of boondocking. We did not do any boondocking at all. And that was purely because we didn't really know where the heck we were and we didn't really plan that well. So we, uh, we ended up taking a lot of stuff for boondocking that we didn't use. Right now, uh, this morning we woke up at, well, I woke up at like three o'clock in the morning and, um, we decided that we would go ahead and um, clean out the RV today and then go put it back into storage. We have a lot of laundry. <laughs> um, basically everything has to be taken out and cleaned and reorganized. And what is this? What, I don't know what to do with this. It came in our sole uh, refrigerator and I have, I know it's supposed to be a divider of some kind, but it doesn't work really well as a divider. So I keep it because, you know, one day I might figure out how to use it. So our floors are, <laughs> they're awful and I have no idea how to fix or clean them. I gotta figure that out. Oh, my dogs have joined me. They had to, they were just whining at the door. Well. They think that we need to go. We need to go. It's we have time. stuff to do. To hey, babe, I'm going to need the vacuum cleaner. Yeah, I'm going to get it for you here in a sec. Like the, the big vacuum cleaner. Yeah. All right, come on, girls. Come on. So here's another thing we did not need. Thank goodness. Bear spray. Thank goodness. Yeah, I suppose that's a good thing. <laughs> if we wouldn't have taken it, we would have needed it. Up the fight. If only just for a I'm going to walk you around here shortly and we'll point out a few things. But... Ooh,